Hello, in this video I will show you how to install Dynair 4.6.4 with GNU Octave 6.2.0 on a Windows system. So we will first install Octave, then we will install Dynair. I will show you how to add the path of Dynair to Octave and then test whether the installation is working correctly. There are timestamps in the description below, so please feel free to skip ahead. If you spot any mistakes, please let me know so I can update the description. And before we start, also check out my blog on more stuff on these G models and Dynair. So let's go. Okay, now let us install Dynair with Octave. Okay, so for this we go to the homepage of Dynair and here you see the recommended version. And you can either download it for 64-bit or 32-bit, usually you want 64-bit. Okay, now install Octave, open the file. Next, next. So I'm just gonna install this just for me. Create the desktop, shortcuts, register. No, I don't want that. And for OpenBlast is a good choice here. Where you want to install this depends on whether or not you have admin rights. And since I only install this locally here, this is fine for me. And this might take a little while. Okay, then let's run Octave. So. Here is the, the file browser, here is the current directory you're in. Now, to benefit from extra features, it is also recommended to install some additional toolboxes. Um, you can do that with Optum, I.O. and Control. And this might take a while. Okay, so this downloads and uh, compiles these packages. So you can use them with Octave and benefit from extra features in Dynair. Also, don't worry about those warnings, um, these are fine. Okay, so this might take about five minutes or so. Now let's download Dynair, uh, the latest version from the homepage, open the file, then click next. If you want, you can also install Dynair++, which is a standalone executable, um, but usually you don't ne really need to. Now regarding the destination folder, if you have admin access and full access to your hard drive, then I would probably stick to this folder. Um, if you don't have admin access, then you need to put this somewhere on the local hard drive, okay? Not on a cloud storage drive or a network drive. Okay, but usually this should be fine. Okay, then click finish. And now let's go back to Octave. We have installed Dynair on C. Okay, here, this is the important folder you need to add to the path, okay? So you need to write, okay, so uh, with the uh, slashes in the other way. Simply running Dynair will then tell you this. Okay, now let's create a folder for our mode files, okay? So let's go into Dynair, let's create a folder, let's call this work. Very importantly, this folder has to be on the local hard disk, not on a cloud storage drive or some network drive. And I'm going to copy example one to this folder. Then let's go back to Octave. Okay, you can see my example one here. You have to be in the current working directory. You can check this by running pwd. And then I can simply do Dynair example one. And there you go. Okay, and you can also open this in a text editor and then you have the editor right here, the command window below there. Um, the workspace is here. There you go. Okay, that's it. Please leave your comments below. I will update the description of the video to correct any mistakes I made. Have a good one.